Correct. The orange line shows the actual level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere through this year. Mm -hmm. And the blue line shows the actual average temperature change. So in 1982, Exxon accurately, 1982, seven years before I was even born, Exxon accurately predicted that by this year, 2019, the Earth would hit a carbon dioxide concentration of 415 parts per million and a temperature increase of one degree Celsius. Dr. Hoffert, is that correct? We were excellent scientists. <laughs> yes, you were. Yes, you were. So they knew. Mm -hmm. They knew, and I, I presume they knew what some of the consequences of that one degree Celsius change would be. Some of them, not all. Absolutely. I would like to have an opportunity to discuss that if someone asks me. Uh, Dr. Hoffert, you have mm -hmm. previously said that Exxon's historic denial was immoral and greatly set back efforts to address climate change. That's correct. Yes? I, it is correct that I said that. I have good reason to say it. And in 1998, API's Global Science uh, Communications Team Action Plan, which involved Exxon, Chevron, Southern mm -hmm. Company, and more, laid out the industry's denial campaign. They knew that they were going to dump un unknown at that time amounts of money, but a large investment in a climate denial and doubt campaign in, in the United States and around the world, correct? Uh, that's and my, that's my, to the best of my knowledge, that's true.